Hello, this is a video to show how to download and install Cisco WebEx Meeting app on the on any Android phone. Uh, the first step that you need to do is go to Play Store, uh, search for Cisco WebEx. You can type Meeting also. I had already previously typed, typed Cisco WebEx, so I'm just selecting that. Click on Install. It'll start downloading. Uh, the file size is approximately 42 MB. Okay. Uh, while it downloads, I would like to show you how uh, a meeting link on a Cisco WebEx meeting. How do you join a Cisco WebEx meeting from a link that I would send as a host? Okay. So let's go to one of the meetings that I had started already. Okay. Yeah, this is a meeting that I had started at 11, 11 a.m. on Saturday. Okay, 9th of May. You could see the details over there. And the meeting lasts for one hour. And it is followed by meeting number and uh, password. Generally, uh, there are various ways of joining the meeting. The most uh, two popular ways are clicking the link at the bottom bottom which is below the agenda agenda says tally certification course and the meeting link is uh, shared below that you can click on that link and select the app and you will be joining the meeting directly if that is not possible you can join the meeting via typing in the meeting number and uh, putting in the password okay in this case the meeting number is 910-776-541 and the password is Sairam. Okay. By doing so, you can actually join the meeting. Let us see where the status of the download and installation is. Okay. Looks like it's installing the app, which is good. Once it installs the app, we will go back to the link and uh, click on the link and see whether it will open directly on the Cisco Webex app. Okay. Still waiting for the installation to happen. Mm. Yeah. So the Cisco Webex meeting is installed. Okay. Let's go back to the link. Okay. Now if I click on this link it will give me an option whether to use the browser or Webex Meet app. I select a Webex Meet app. Okay, since it's the first time I'm installing it on this phone. So it's, it's accepting me, it's uh, requesting me to accept uh, the terms and condition and privacy statement. So I click on accept. Then Then, then you have to give permissions because you might require uh, to speak into the uh, during the meeting so you need to allow for phone that is basically microphone and also to record and take pictures allow the camera and also allow recording of audio okay uh, this are this blue uh, the, the blue call outs are generally for uh, informing where uh, what is happening and once you click on next you can see some more details as to you can share the screen on a device if you have a smart TV or something like that okay so basically this is the starting screen ideally you once you are uh, logged in logged in in the sense once you have used this phone previously to join a meeting you don't have to you will not see the screen it will automatically join but this is the first time I'm joining uh, the meeting via this phone so I have to click on join and then I have to uh, allow it to access my contacts and first of all you need to type in your name okay and any valid email ID okay so once I type into this, it's uh, showing me the name of the. It is showing me the name of the meeting that I.
okay and it will give you certain instructions swipe to the right to enter audio mode okay so it will just show you where you are um, so let us swipe this is only audio mode tap to unmute so i'll just show you all the buttons that are required to see um, use this app so you have this microphone button which is in orange color now that means if you want to if you are speaking and this is an orange color nobody can hear you that means it is in mute so if you want to speak uh, i've muted it again uh, the button next to it is actually for a video uh, conference but uh, i request everybody to mute it because we are not going to have video conference we're going to share presentations and tally screen and uh, so forth so and so, so on and so forth uh, but there will be no video conference as such there are some more things that uh, you have here but better than that you have on the top uh, right hand side corner of the phone screen you have a participant uh, list if you click on that it is showing myself ajay and tally mitras is where i've hosted it from so these two are the participants uh, two things that you need to observe are uh, there are two things at the bottom which says chat suppose sometimes uh, for an interactive session uh, there will be a lot of questions uh, that will be asked while you are uh, taking the course and uh, you might want to ask a question if you want to ask a question raise the hand if you raise the hand i as a host can see that you have raised the hand and i will ask you to speak or type into the chat then you can type in or speak by unmuting your microphone and once you are done you should lower your hand that means click on the button again so and if you want to chat click on chat there will be only chat with everyone so everybody can see your um, messages so just i'm just typing some words sairam okay and can send messages okay so th these are two things that you need to know and by default to have a very good uh, video conferencing all the microphones will be muted by me or as a host so as a host if you mute that there will be no disturbance in the sense of uh, background noise from other other people's microphones or echoing sound will come if you are using an external speaker and not a headphone uh, if you're using an external speaker and a mic separately there'll be a lot of echoing sound so i would generally um, actually mute uh, all the people uh, who are joining to start off with and only when uh, you have a question or uh, some answers have to be um, spoken out then you can unmute yourself and then talk into the microphone okay so that's how you would join a meeting we will go back to the main screen and in this main screen you would see uh, things like uh, if i share some uh, let's say i'll as a host i'm sharing an excel sheet so it will show me the excel sheet here as you can see i'm pretty sure uh, now you are able to see the excel sheet okay so what i would do is i would minimize this uh, area change it to landscape okay now you can see you can move out uh, this sorry okay you can move to this and if you want to uh, see clearly you can expand or like how you see photos on a uh, phone you can actually uh, press your fingers on the screen and expand it and then pinch it to minimize it okay so these things work very well and the clarity is really good so hopefully uh, you would not have a problem this is the video that uh, i wanted to show with respect to um, how to use the cisco webex meeting app for um, on an android phone and similarly i will be uh, putting up another video for how to do it on a desktop okay thank you have a nice day